Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a look at a new sampling app called Samplist. So when you buy Samplist, and if you do decide to buy it, by the way, there'll be this uh, link in the description below this video tap and I'll link take you to the app store. If you use that link, I will get a small commission from Apple. It helps me out a lot. Cheers. Uh, also like the video, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a patron. Get all that out the way first. Okay. So you don't get any presets because you don't need them. It's a sampler, okay? It's a MIDI sampler, so you can trigger the sample from this keyboard or your MIDI keyboard or whichever MIDI. It also um, looks for Bluetooth MIDI as well. So it's finding my, it knows that I, there's a seamboard block, but I'm using my M audio. Okay, so first of all, you get some basic controls, as you can see. You can play slice chromatically. Very, very cool beans indeed for, for keyboard players and for most people, I guess. Um, you have low-pass filter, high-pass filter. You have some uh, attack and sustain and release and stuff like that. Your ability to one-shot or ADSR it. To load a file, you just tap on here, go browse, and it will take you to your file sharing, which is epic. So you can it also does open in. <clears throat> so you can just go and find something that you would uh, like to. Um, we'll choose this one because then it's quite short, and it's there. It's done, and it will always then be there until you decide to uh, delete it. So there it is. Now what you do? You know you think you're going to play? You can't. Uh, what you do now is you add slice. So how many we've got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we'll add six slices in, but we'll add a slice. And then we'll do this and we'll move that there sort of thing. So you're going to be obviously more accurate with this. You're going to know your samples. Let's add another slice and let's put slice number two there. It doesn't really matter for now. Uh, let's add another slice. This is very cool. Um, <clears throat> this is something that's really going to be useful to a lot of people who want to trigger your multiples. Chop us the thing up, but then access different samples from the file. You know, it's super handy that is. Okay, so we'll add another slice here. Add another slice. And I, I have no clue what this is, really. I think it's some, like, drum patney bass with some bass thing. Um, <clears throat> I'll add one more slice. Slice number four, and I'll move that back here. I mean, your slice direction is not really important. Okay, so now we'll put, like, play slices chromatically. I'll select slice one. <laughs> There's slice one of that, so I'm gonna it is on my and I've got it playing chromatically, so let's just tap on slice four. notice that also the super cool thing is although the pitch goes up it doesn't speed up I'm gonna risk, it doesn't speed up which is just great now I know that a lot of you guys are gonna have better ideas than this but this I just wanted to give you a basic idea of So that's cool. So, and then, all right, so then you can choose to edit various slices. And you can, you do have some um, degree of accuracy. But I think the developer is pretty, pretty on it. He's a member of the Audio Bus Forum. And he's he will continue to add an update, I think. And he built this for himself, basically, and then decided, well, I, I guess he thought that it'd be useful for everybody, and I think he's probably right. Okay, so let's just import one more so we can do choose browse. And I don't know. We, you could do a whole track, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I mean... I don't know what this is even, but we'll just try this. These are all stuff, bits and pieces that I've done. 
pasted audio. Let's do is it real. There we go. And let's add some slices to somewhere here. Let's add another slice. And you have options to clear all and stuff like that. So it's cool. So I don't know. Play chromatically. And this is quite a long piece, as you can see. Let's go find our fair slice. Okay, guys, there you go. Basically, that is it's playing away there like a good one. <laughs> um, so you can import anything you like, basically. Slice it up as much as you want. Pretty much, I guess. I don't, I, I don't know if there's a limit to how many slices can be added. I'm adding slices down here, aren't I? So... It just uh, maybe you can add four. Don't know. Anyway, point is that you got slices, sampler, basic good to go stuff. Developers on it. He's going to be updating and stuff. Cool beans. What can you say? I I know that the sampling people out there are going to know exactly how they're going to use this. Okay, guys, there'll be a link in the description below, as I said before. Have a great day, and I will see you later.